So we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it goes okay. And maybe I can do two of them. There's gonna be one for sure. And yeah, it's, it's no reset, but if I happen to die, I guess whatever. Because there are not too many points where you can die. I always wonder if you can be out of stamina on this cutscene. Maybe not. Alright, so we passed the outer scroller of the beginning. I'm going to do the clock. For pious to think that once I could not, not see, see beyond. beyond. I was once full. I think on the second pickup, not only your position matters, but maybe your angle matters too. I'm not really sure. Let's get the teleport cancel. Alright. It's faster to have it uh, with just one hit, but it's fine. Alright, kind of late split. So I guess that's plus four, really. I cannot say what was the true beginning, no 
Vamos a ver más. Alright, Elia. I absolutely don't remember the stamina road. So <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to rely on some improvisation. But it's fine. Traps didn't get trolled. Sometimes I, I'm a little bit out of position on those traps and I get trolled by one of the darts. For those places really really small if you, if you sneak for too long you're gonna get hit by the third blade I think and if you don't sneak you're gonna get hit by the first one This first part is pretty easy. The second one is the tricky. See how it goes. Do it. Good. Yeah, that was decent. I just got caught by that zombie, which is something that is happening quite often with this these strats. 
kind of want to find a way to get around that. So as you see, new strat saves time in general, even when I failed it, you know? Like, I could have done it even better. The, the last... Fuck, the last any percent PV doesn't have the, like, the consistent strat for, for stamina there. Like at that, at that point, I was still 100% improvising that research, chapter. It is apparent that the endeavor... Now I'm still improvising a little bit, but I'm improvising over a road or over a set of strats that are relatively consistent. Anthony should also be faster because of better menu and more consistency in general. Turn Slow pick up here because it's impossible to get a fast pick up there. As far as we know. And now I actually don't remember if in my last any percent road I did this strat. Don't get hit. Thank you. And yeah, by the way, I'm gonna go for the fast trapper. 
Because why not? Two hits on each arm will do the job for the monk. You, have come you can add to cancel down. all of these addicts. And then you match me for the key. Alright, move move from the red right side. So you can skip the first zombie. Then you can kill the other. And here we go for the trapper. Fast run is running really close to the trapper and activated immediately. Like that. If you want to succeed that, uh, you have to time your running really well when you're reaching the door. You can't just run straight to the door and stop running when you are at the door. You have to st stop running like a little before arriving the door, so you can match me faster. Because you can't open doors while you're running. And the trio of doors are, are like pretty far away actually. So many attacks that were in target. Anyway, I think regardless of that, this is still looking good. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. That could have been like minus fifteen, minus sixteen, maybe. What the fuck? So every time we finish a chapter, we learn some stuff. And what we learned on this chapter was repair. So... Why is that noise? That was a weird noise. Sounded like a sound effect. Anyway, so if you play this game casually, um, you will probably broke that key like way Doing before. This. And you will psychology. be like, fuck, I can't access second floor. Of course, because this is a speedrun, we don't have to like... Uh, broke it early. It's just not necessary. So we can we can broke it when we are there, when we actually need to go there. All right, we're gonna do a fast pickup here. Put that silhouette a little bit late, uh, so that way when we put it on the round, it's not gonna be in our way. I 
there's another fast pick, pick up here, but it's not worth it. You just like one second if you want to do it. Because it's too far away. At this button right here, um, I I tried some stuff on this button to see if I can get it like a, a spell in cutscene, but it's not possible. I think it's because the game sets you in a path, like it sets Karim in an, an state that is going, walking automatically into the button. So that's why I think you can't really do a spell there. We got some bucks. That's pretty good. It's a nice signing effect. Because that room is, is one of the rooms where you can normally have signing effects. It's like a very, very high chance of getting an effect there. So it's pretty good that I get this one. wave here. If you fail the the head attack, you can always do, just do two attacks on the chest. And with other cancel, I think they might take the, about the same time. Hit your friend. Oops. And yeah, always remember to be running on that room. Uh, Cause you're probably going to skip the, the trapper. I mean, if you skip the trapper the first time, it's gonna be still there when you go back. So you should be like aware of that. Okay, no side effect here, that's wonderful. This is like the other room where it's pretty common to get one. Kinda impressed that I didn't saw one. Like not even a, a good sign here, but... And we go for the last 
best room here in Korea. Most entertaining one. And yeah, this is one of the cool things of assigning Shatoga Recovery. We can hit, we can heal without going into the menu. Which is always good. Like you can heal here like five times if you want. And that's gonna cause like one menu, the menu where you assign and that's it. For some reason, that particular bone thief dies on just one hit from the back. So it's faster to do that instead of going for the head. So now we need to spam enchant item and do it on the gladius. So that way we skip um, one of the sanity effects that are fixed on this row of this game. And we're going to continue skipping that in all the episodes. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention- Oh, look at this! Some of this is... Sub 8 minutes. That is lower than the segmented run. Pretty amazing. And there's still more time save incoming. Alright, new strats. Let's try to remember everything. This part is not really that different. But I need to look out for the trapper. Are you fucking okay? It didn't shoot at least. Alright, okay, shoot at me, that's fine. The gun sounded, but the bullet wasn't depleted. Pretty weird. Okay, we need to load one bullet so we can examine stuff. Otherwise, if you try to examine this thing, 
it's not gonna let you. You are always gonna reload in top of it. Unless you have another weapon or you can also unequip the gun, that's another option. The other side. Couldn't be better. But like always, I did an extra pause for the for the letter. I need to get that out of my mind. This is just not good. So yeah, I, I actually expect to lose time here, definitely. Or we'll see, because I'm still saving time from not having the sanity effect on some stuff. Maybe I can get the barrier too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. Let's, let's go. Forget that. It's kind of important. So there's also a new strat here compared to the last any percent. Just a faster guardian battle. From here. So, where are you going to go? Nice. <laughs> so we are even. So that, that's actually pretty good, because I made a, a lot of mistakes. So that being even means... Okay, that's the wrong spell. It's fine. Uh, being even there means the new road is better. Or at least some of the new strats are better. The ancient's influence was incredible. From all Wonderful. That was pretty good.
So yeah, by the way, if something is going wrong on the audio or anything, you should let me know. Because otherwise, if this is a PV, it's gonna be an awful one. Because it's gonna have bad audio. Nobody wants that, right? So please let me know, because I don't have feedback from my... My stream. Not at all times. I can put some feedback if I want. But... I can't really do it while I'm running. Audio is fine. Thank you. Thank you for that. How are you doing, sir? By the way. Let's see if I, if I can pull this this Lindsay. I've been having some trouble with Lindsay on practice. And yeah, this is a different road or different strats from the PV. This uses recovery instead of shields. Oops. I let let go my my control stick and press the other direction by accident <laughs> whatever all right zombies don't troll me thank you can't believe that second zombie just exploded Happens to me also on on Smash Brothers. I don't remember exactly how they call it. I guess snapback is the proper term. Uh, but I don't know if you play uh, melee, but on melee there is a mechanic that you can like press B on meter and like turn around, do, like a turn around B with that. And start, some some controllers have the issue of doing that automatically for some directions and mine does that sometimes not a lot but so I guess it's probably the same issue I just need to remember to to don oops whatever that is a time loss Okay, we're gonna see the... It's fine. I just need to remember to don't let go my controller to neutral position. So close. I was so close to it. I still have one more opportunity to do a spelling cutscene. Okay, no close up.
That little sneak there is just for safe. It's just a safe strat. Like, you should be able to reach this part without sneaking, but... But yeah, just safe strat, really. Here I need some, though. That's kind of a good idea, actually. Because I already have Shaturga Recover Binded. I mean, Assignment. I think we should look for that. Like, I, I've said this many times. This is definitely the the chapter that has the most potential still. At least from optimizations. Maybe not from discovering like a groundbreaking glitch, but definitely from just straight optimizations. I'm not gonna be able to do this, whatever. So whatever, let's just assign him. Because I can't really cast a spell after that animation of recovery. So it doesn't matter, we're gonna cast it later. When I'm tired. I think we're still kind of fine in terms of time. But yeah, I actually. I can't believe I didn't thought about that. <laughs> we should definitely look for, for that strat. Just like maybe never stop running and just go for like a straight Chaturga recovery, because we're not gonna run out of magic, definitely. And that is a big time save. Not even a goal. Just my PB not being the best on that part. Do what we learn on this chapter. And I fucked up. I was too fast. <laughs> this fucking cutscene. I need to go a little bit slower. Yeah, if you go too fast, that cutscene cancel, cancels the spell. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition. Don't 
the love of God. Guards, come quickly. I can actually match B there for the door. In the gutscene. Sometimes I forget to do that. You can do the same on on other chapters that are where, where you get the, the book in front of a door instead of in front of, of a loading zone. This is one of the most tight cameras, like most tight camera changes. Uh, you should really just stop running on this turn here because the basically the controllers are reversed for oh, the position of the camera. Not a moment too soon. You can even sneak if you feel if you don't feel confident about the part. Thank you, developers, for this stamina refill. It's really cool that some cutscenes just straight refill your stamina. So we tried a loss. We, we tried a lot. Jesus. <laughs> on on practice and roading to find a way to kill Anthony faster without the mace. But we just couldn't find a way. Pretty much everything is just too weak. Uh, we tried magical attacks, damage fields. But yeah, like just magical attack deals like a third. Of a maze hit. So it's like really not worth it. There's a new fast pick up there. It saves like a, like a second. Or 0 0.5 actually. So we need we just need to go for the maze. It's just worth it. Like even we, we even tried with Mantra. Mantra damage field, Mantra magical attack, and still, still slower, like 20 seconds slower at least. Cut by the wall. Oops. Fire. It is like two seconds there. It's fine. It's not mandatory to do that pool. But it's just useful since you are already waiting for Anthony to wake up. Like, there's no reason not to do it. It's more like that. And you always want to have at least one shield after the battle. Because we're gonna use that shield on the horror. And just one is enough. You can use the other two to get more hits or, or to get hits faster on Anthony.
This weapon doesn't need enchantment. Well, not this weapon. The sword. Just need to hit this big guy from behind. And you're gonna give the sword on the same pause, uh, you use one of the duels. And yeah, we, we have to do two hits there, because our weapon is not enchanted. But that's still worth because an enchantment is it's a lot of time actually like we, we time enchantment for max chapter and it's like six seconds so definitely a lot Time to go back. This is chapter of backtracks. This and Roberto are the most backtracky chapters. But this, I'll say this more than Roberto. Might get tired. A little early. That's fine. Two finger strut, finally. I'm getting used to it. I still try to do it not that fast because it's still always gonna be faster to do it slower but not failing if you fail you lose a lot of time there compared to just slowing down a little bit the custodian again see what is up here brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along get this dagger now he's sadly dead or only a lie gone Paul still still doesn't know the player knows He's going to know. How many side effects we skip in the meditation? Um, okay, let me... It might be just two. Actually. But just for how much we walk, it might be three. But I'll say, because it's a speedrun, it might be just two.
I know if I forget something. Yeah, I forgot a shield. So, the meditation rod, I think it takes 6 or 7 seconds. I don't know if I'm including the loading time. Because I, I remember timing that back uh, when when I was doing mantra rock. Because I wanted to know if it was faster to do a mantra pull for sanity or the meditation rod. And doing mantra pull is faster, so... Yeah, meditation rub is actually some time, but the thing is, yeah, you can get like bad sanity FX. Now, another option of course is doing just recovers. Um, I think that's definitely something we can look up to. We can look into. Cause at that point we still have a sign of recovery. So, we can do it instantly, and two recoveries is like 4.2 seconds, three recoveries sinks 6 6.3, so if the meditation takes more than that, uh, then we can do three recoveries for instance, and we can... We can try to, let's say, um, road with six sanity recoveries, and maybe even we can skip a pool because we can save stamina casting those. That's something very interesting to look for, actually. Here at the end, I think I've never seen a sanity effect. And as I say that, <laughs> I go on. <laughs> but I don't know if, it, if those rooms allow you to have another, like, other kind of sanity effects. Alright, so that that um, that time zone there was just better play, in general. Because there wasn't a lot of changes on Paul chapter. I think I'm small. Uh, what should we cast? Yeah, why not? Oh, that sucks. So yeah, something you can do with Alex, if you hit a sanity effect, one of those long ones, uh, you can always just do a pull, a shield, and that's it. I guess you can do reveal visible if you need to, like if you're if you get it on before Lindsay, but I I don't know if you can get a sanity effect before Lindsay. Much has been written about the exploits of Congress. without like grinding for a sanity effect. So I, I just did a, a Chaturga pull. I, I think a Celotown pull would have been better. But I just couldn't react. <laughs> Chaturga pull can be useful in Alex for... Peter to Edward. And... Edward to Michael. In those two, uh, you can run out of sa out of stamina if you don't like do very small sneaks, or if you run too much, like you get caught body blocked by some so uh, zombie, and you need to run a little bit extra. You might run out of sanity. I mean stamina. So in those episodes, Chatoria pool, an extra Ch Chatoria pool, it's not bad at all. A 
and Celotabulch helps not getting more sunny effects. Alright, so Roberto has some new strats that should save time. We're gonna find out. There's a horror in the background. That's a good hallucination. Mean trapper. All right, so here we're gonna do a sanity pool. And recover, do a magic reveal, which is the, I think the last glitch we discovered. Sorry, discovered. How to do it consistently. We have observed this glitch for a while uh, after some cutscenes, especially Peter, because like the Peter one is is like you will always get it, but we really didn't understand until Sir came and explained it uh, why this happened. And really, I think the only thing we need to do is like. Um, we need to run into a cutscene after casting a spell. And, like, the, the real requirement should be having the runes on the floor still. Because I think you cannot do it with, let's say, enchant item. Because the runes disappear before you, you can get into a cutscene because of the long text. But you can do it with pretty much everything, everything else. So here's another refill. So you see my, my magic is coming back. Basically, recover the, the magic you just waste on the last spell. Which is freaking amazing for these low magic characters. And also for high magic characters, some of them like Peter. I'm gonna make use of that in Peter. Okay, that sucks a little bit. I was way too close, so we're gonna get some damage. And yeah, that's because we want we want to get this pool as as much as we can from this pool, basically. If I can get a, an early cancel. Yeah, that was decent. I know it can be better, but if you go too risky on that, sometimes the, the zombie turns around and you're fucked up. So, but yeah, I know I can practice for, for a longer can, uh, cancel there. Come on. 
responded. Thank you. Yeah, bunch the survey. Ready to go after this. This is not that bad because I can just get like a, a pool. This can't be happening. But yeah, it, it's kind of bad that we got a sunny effect there. Like on this road, they are pretty low percent to happen. Extremely low percent. But still. We got like better chances than in the previous road. In the previous road, I almost get a sunny effect always. Or not always, like let's say 50%. Like I'm pretty positive that that was a very low chance. Like 5% maybe. Exactly, Roberto. I was thinking the same. Still, same time. But not a gold, probably because of the Sandy Epic and some other stuff. To end all wars, we defined how mankind. So war war. Uh, war war, one was basically an inside job from the ancients. But we are going to use this opportunity. To get rid of one of Black Guardians. I mean, the only one on this universe. On this timeline. Oops. That's a little slow. I need to remember. Well, I mean, I remember. I just sometimes forget it. Um, but that item is one of the few items uh, that where you have to, like, you have this text, usually you get an item that you have to open, and you had a text, and you have to scroll down, and then press A. But on that particular item, uh, you can actually just press A immediately, because the text is so, so small. So really, you just press start and match A immediately. And yeah. I'll say Peter, Peter and Michael are definitely the two chapters that got the most change. We're gonna see a lot of different stuff on Peter. Already two different strats. So these two spells allows us to maintain stamina in good shape. And of course, we need this shield for later, for the Black Guardian. And the Celota pool is just good for Sunny effects. There's also a fast pickup here, but it's actually useless. Because this is one of the few items where you can match B immediately. 
even while the, the camera is zooming on the item. So a fast pickup is, is literally useless there. Okay, no recovery. We don't need it. Not on this road. I should put shield. I can put it later, bro. No, actually no, 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 no. That's for all road. We don't use shield. Seven shield on Peter here. Uh, I mean, we don't assign him here because I have magical attack there. Lights is it's back. I just forgot about it. I get I guess I, I got some delay from the game. It's fine. So if you pay if you pay attention to my assignments, you probably notice that I assigned supposedly the most useless spell in the game. It's one of those spells that when you play this game casual, casually, you use it and you say to yourself like, what the fuck developers, what is this? I, I'm recovering magic, yeah that's fine, but I'm using magic to recover it. So I'm basically recovering the same amount I'm wasting. What, what a trolley developer, right? But yeah, there's actually, I use, I use for that. Thanks to, to the glitch. of magic reveal I'm hearing double double steps that's pretty good it's a nice sanity effect it's kind of scary So, no magic pool here. We don't need it this time. Uh, we used to use a uh, 7 magic, magic pool there. Then we figure out, okay, we only need a uh, 3 magic pool actually. We used to use it here. But then with the magic refill, we actually don't need any. Because we're gonna have just enough magic here. As far as I don't fuck anything up. We'll see. Things can still be go wrong. But let's don't jinx it. So, take a look at my magic. I mean, if I get it. Yep, we get it. Yep. And now, take a look again. There you go. 
We're almost full. So this means we can safely do one cycle every time. It's extremely safe, pretty consistent, and actually pretty easy to pull off. It's not that hard. So yeah, this this boss is just amazing now, really. It's so fucking amazing, I love it. It used to be such a, a stressful part. Because I always was a little bit cautious with the second phase. But now look at that. Minus 45 seconds. It's just so it's just so good. Okay, so it's, I still have a, a little bit of pull. That's because even while it's a 3 pull, uh, the Alex parts are just too fast. So this is gonna help a little bit. On this segment. Basically, oh, that sucks so much. Can I cast with this? No, I can't. This is so bad. Oh my god. I actually can't advance with this. Yeah, I just remember. Fuck you. I should have go straight to the basement. Kinda just forgot about it. Is it really happening? Or does it? No, I think it, it does. Um. It does send you back to where the the thing started, so there's really that's really it might be the worst sanity effect. Because you can't even cast stuff there. <laughs> yeah, that's why a Celta pool is kinda good if you get into a sanity effect on Alex, on early Alex. Shit happens. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to kill the master of this house. Really? Whatever. Can I open it? Here. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Something to remember: uh, if you happen to fail a dex box, like I did there, so you go down, and the game gives you the option of pressing A to accept, investigate this, or B to just don't do it, just just let it be. If you happen to press B on accident, like I did, then on your next check. Uh, you can just match A. You don't need to scroll down again. Because I guess the, the game knows that you already check it once. So it allows you to skip the text and match A immediately. And that's not just with, with check, but with also every, every of these. Like there, for instance, I did it again. My mistake. Oh, that was pretty good. So there, I use the the D-pad actually. So I was I was using the stick to go fast, and then I use the D-pad to go a little bit slower. And yeah, we only need this here. No pool, no shields, no enchantment, no items, box only, final destination. Only reveal. Reveal only. 
and just level 3. Okay, so we're gonna lure this guy from there. So by shooting from, from that part, uh, the vampire doesn't doesn't go for you. Uh, there's actually a lot of positions like close to the the door, the main door and the main walls of the hall that allows you to do that. When you do that, the vampire doesn't go for you. What it does is it goes for for one of your servants. So that gives us enough time to cast a magical attack. And a seven point magical attack is just enough to kill that, that vampire in one shot. And that's actually faster than you know going for shields. And like going for like even three point shields and an enchantment on the gun. is gonna be here at any time and you can position yourself to have uh, insta attack cancels on the wall with saber uh, you you only like you always need to just uh, you can use any kind of attack I think to defeat the vampire on these phases you only need three always like Sometimes uh, we used to go for the, the head, but that actually doesn't necessarily do more damage. What what this does is it's just a different thing. Maybe it does more damage, but it's still just three. Yo Frank, how are you doing? How's life? Life is amazing. It's going pretty good. Also here we're using a 3 bull instead of 7. Okay, I hope this is fine. It should be fine. Okay, right. Good. It's pretty good. I think I can also position myself here, maybe on the other side, to get uh, attacks on the chest instead of instead of the head, because they are just faster in general. One at the cancel with saber, but it's fine. So every time I say at the cancel, you might be wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. At the cancel is, I'll call it exploit. It's, it's not really a glitch. It's more like an exploit. Uh, when you attack, you have an animation. You basically have a, like a cooldown before you can attack again. But you can cancel that cooldown. Uh, by moving. And I think you can also cancel by just letting go the target button. Not entirely sure. But on any way, on anyhow, the, the fastest way to do it is just moving. On any direction. And... So basically... Okay, number seven. 
we do an attack and then you want to move into some direction and then you want to do an attack again and you're gonna see the the animation of your first attack being cancelled by the movement and then you can do another one so that's that's like the manual auto cancel i mean i'm sorry the manual animation cancel or auto cancel rather auto cancel and there is an automatic at a cancel, which you can call it auto cancel, <laughs> and that one is when when your weapon runs into a wall on a hit, and that way it gets cancelled, and you can do another attack again immediately. So that one is based on position. We kind of want to get on the best positions to get those if we can. And if we if we can, then we can use manual at the cancels. And yeah, attack cancels shouldn't be confused with animation cancels, <laughs> which is another trick. That one might actually be a kind of a glitch. But it can still be considered an exploit. We're going to explain that later. way later like at the end of the game probably I already used some of them but it's gonna be way more clear when we are at the end more power guns There are six bargains here. So compared to the previous speedy, um, the road on the end guy is still the same. It's the exact same. There might be some slight optimizations here and there to get it more consistently since then. Uh, but it's basically the same. The only difference on Edward chapter is the early chapter on the mansion. Uh, there is a lot of new stuff. I already talked about it on that part. So in that regard, I should say time overall on this chapter. Did a little bit of extra run there. That's why he got tired. But it's fine. The teleporters allows you to to recover a lot of stamina, which is the reason why we don't need to use like a thousand pulls on this chapter. We only use two on Enga and one on the mansion. And the one on the mansion is free because we are waiting for the vampire, anyways. Second one is gonna be here. And as far as we know. There is no sanity effects on Enga Edward, Edward Enga. So we just like we deal with this entire chapter on no sanity. Okay, this is kind of bad. Scary as fuck. Back 
Trappers are probably the most scary enemies on speedrun. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I'm doing border cancels, which is doing an attack right before getting into a portal. Regomore. And that way you cancel some locking frames. It's not a lot of time. But if you get all of them, uh, it might be some considerable time save. I'm gonna kill these guys. I don't give a shit about this. I don't wanna deal with them. Not this time. Because that trouble was way too close. First portal. And you probably already noticed, but uh, here in Eternal Darkness, you can actually examine items with or back <laughs> we only need to be close to an item to examine we don't have to be looking at the item like the only things i think you have to look like from the front to examine is like npcs i think So basically, to get a, like a better movement, uh, like more consistent movement in general, what you can do is do a turnaround before activating something. That way, when the cutscene is over or during the cutscene, you can just um, you can just be holding the direction that you need, you need, and you don't have to do the turnaround after, which is it can be a little bit messy. So technically, it's not something that saves time, like, it doesn't save any frames, as far as I know, but from a practical perspective, it's, it's better for human speedrunning. Alright, and this is the last pool of the chapter. Which is just enough to do number 8 and 9. Okay, that guy didn't activate it, whatever. You can just run around that trapper. If you go like really far away I 
I'm kind of surprised that the horror in the main room survived all this time. That's something that can't happen on this road. Alright. Long cuts in here. I mean, relatively long. So usually a good time to go for water. Nice. I think it felt like two water consoles. There's another trapper here, that can be scary. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so where is this fire? Right there, okay. Okay, let's try to pay attention to see where is this. I really don't want to run into it. Good. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that was bad RNG. So first the Guardian body blocked me a little bit. And then after that it it did sanity damage. But because I have zero sanity damage, and by the way, those do the like the most sanity damage. It's super insane. Uh, that is translating to health damage, and I was low health for a couple of seconds there, but it's fine. Good. So yeah, that time loss, uh, it's probably because of the Alex, Alex part, because like I said before, um, we actually save time now on Edward, because the mansion part is a little bit faster. Oh, look at that. It's not the grab one? Okay, whatever. So... I think I can do it now. Good. I'm really impressed. Like, three. Three sanity effects here. Such bad luck. Fine, Alex. Everything's fine. Just, just ignore the monsters. You have already read a lot about these monsters. I'm gonna read you in in a moment, sir. Does Alex always start at the same sanity? I think yes. Like every time. You, yeah, he speaks it. Like after every chapter, you lose a little bit of sanity, 
and every Alex segment is fixed on Saturday, like hundred percent fixed. Even if you recover on the la on the previous Where one. The disaster and death lurk. There is like. So maybe something we can do is like do some safe pulls on certain chapters. But still, like you still losing time by casting pulls technically. But it's it's like a safe strat. Either that or do a recovery. Because some chapters uh recovery is just fine. Because your sanity is not that low. Like there, there's always the option of doing a sanity pool on at the beginning of the Alex segment. Oh it sucks. Um because we we do need a spell to get rid of the of the sequel hallucination. What I usually do is do a cast cancel, but we can straight and do a, a sanity pool. And it, it will actually last for more than one Alex segment. So it's it's not a bad safe strat. Just takes like two seconds. If you had the 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 pool assigned it. If you don't have assigned it, it should be like three seconds. Or three point five maybe. It's not that much. And yeah, I, I have had runs where I didn't have a single sanity effect on Alex segments. I think my very first run was like that, I'm not sure. Like I think getting three of them is very unlucky. It's a very special run. I think I hear double steps. Good. All right, so new Michael, you already see some differences. Just level three pool. We did the reveal invisible pretty early. We're not gonna do anything on this room. Fuck my life. <laughs> I thought I could make it there. Jesus. Whatever. It's gonna be a minus 40. Around there. Okay, stay there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Let's go. Oh, it's pretty slow, pretty slow. Trapper dimension, and I failed both. Teleport cancel. Whatever. Of course. We're gonna lose a lot of time here. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose so much time here. It depends. It depends on the positions. Um, sometimes you can run straight. Uh, like, like, yeah, like you said, it usually works like on Kareem part. Uh, but, but sometimes it's, it's a little bit risky to straight do that. Like, what, what I usually do is I run immediately and then start doing the, the sneak run. And that's pretty safe. But this time I did the sneak run. Uh, too... Too early? Uh, 
Come on, dude. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna need that Chaturga Bowl for our recovery. I was going to do a pool, but not yet, because I want this magic. Alright, I'm ready to lose all my time save. Could have been worse. Already losing a bunch of time. I'm absolutely gonna lose like one minute and thirty, and maybe more. Maybe a bunch more. But we can still save time on Pius. After this, I guess. I might need a, a recovery, we'll see. Hopefully not. Like, I know one of the horrors is gonna take all my sanity. So maybe the other is going to damage me. We're gonna find out. What's going on here? Let's see. Oh no, actually, that little sanity was enough. No recoveries, that's that's something. After that fiasco. Look at that. <laughs> We're still ahead. <laughs> we can still we take we can technically still do sub ten. Sub two hours ten. Just for you to see how much potential these have as
on the baggage. Delivered by Michael Crowley. Now Chandra Glad is there, sadly. But it's not that useful anymore, as we used to think. Especially now with the crazy strats that we have. So we're gonna be a lot of new stuff here. Um, especially on Pius. Oh, so I'm a little bit late. Just a little bit late. Uh, so, the first different thing is, well, the road is essentially the same, but we're just gonna use one Uya full, and it's, well, just like before, but it's gonna be a level 3, instead of 7, and that's just enough. We're gonna use that for the summoning part, which is the only part that you actually need it, where you actually need it. On the second part, where we we used to to need the the other the other part of the seven pool, we're not gonna use a pool because you you actually have enough time there to recover all the magic for a 7 shield and 2 7 binds and then a recovery at the end okay I'm gonna put the, the glad ladies I do that on my last pause because we have less um, less items, so less menu. I always forget the, the first one, that's why I, I pause there. I lose like three seconds waiting there. I really need to memorize these numbers. Just like in the last um, PV, my last PV, we we don't need any Chaturga pulls on this chapter because we have to cast so much stuff and so much, so many level seven spells that we just have enough time to run and recover stamina. Also, Alex being one of the best characters, stamina-wise, and she's pretty fast, so... Alright, Travers, behave. Try to turn around there and get the damage boost. But it's kind of hard. Am 
spot trapper. The trapper was looking at me immediately. Trapper in the correct order. So yes, after this run, I think I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna practice a little bit the Michael chapter to get some stuff. Just down. Uh, number one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna take a look at Paul Luther to see if we can skip the meditation road. there she was pretty tired because that attack was fairly slow when you're too tired and you do uh, an untargeted attack uh, you get a slower animation and you actually cannot do a combo So here, in the magical attack, I need to bind some stuff. Four. There's the last trapper here. Wasn't able to activate it. Now some snake rune run. This part. And I'm gonna go safe because I got two there. Okay, I'm gonna get hit. I'm five, two hours in. I know how good is that. Now I 
just two more after this one and two more shields too Safely cast the Way of Pool after activating this. Yeah, I'm not going for the TIS trap there. And I just summon the wrong creature that happens a lot. That happens a lot to me. Like I, I I'm kinda used to spam the Chaturga Trapper. Because we do that on other chapters. It's really something I need to forget. The zombie you can spam it. So yeah, that's some time loss. Now we get the the insta zombie on this portal because of this new position. It's not just the position; the the angle also matters. to monitor my my magic because of that mistake because I need to have full magic for the binding card let's see how that goes yeah I, I don't I might not have enough because this is pretty close so let's go for a save save pool Even with the safe pool, I might not be full. But it's fine to not be full if you have a pool. If you don't have one, you have to be full. That's enough magic for the shield. That's all that matters. And high as we go, we got some new technology. Let's see if I can pull it off. Off. There is artifact manipulation, and animation cancel. Hopefully I can put it on a show. I 
also don't know what pace is this, but I, I don't care. Again, I definitely need another split. I need to do like another split for only for Pius, because it's kind of good to have that reference. I just forgot that I need it. Maybe for next run. Let's go. Alright, that's a pretty early spell. Alright, no attack. That can be scary. No, it's fine. Come here. Just walk a little bit into it. Just a safe threat. It might be worth. All right, whatever. At least we we got the first ones. You can do it! You can do it, buddy! You can do it! Thank you! Nice! a safe turn because Rubero is so slow. Uh, I don't know if I can PV. I mean I can PV but I don't know if I can do sub 10 at this point. Are you kidding me? I was matching B. Okay whatever. Let's wait a little bit. the animation but so bad animation cancel it's still a bb but not the best one all right whatever i'll take it <clears throat> i mean so it comes to for a for a d rust run i think it's fine there is nothing i even skipped the, the last cutscene has obliterated the insanity let's, of Zenotar. Let's just leave uh, the matter of one. The madness of Zenotar has overcome the power of Uliath. The boundless Uliath has decimated the, the power, power of Shatter. All at once, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains. Slowly, slowly dying. dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients, 
chaos, an entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations of the Royalist family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the ancients, it used its pawns to play them against each other resulting in their mutual annihilation. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting. Plotting. All right, so. We're gonna get rid of this first. Do I need to save again? So, uh, this run was actually pretty amazing up to Edward, no, up to Edwards, Michael Edwards. I, I fucked it up a lot there. <laughs> I got two trappers and I, I messed up my, my summon because I was mashing the summon at the beginning of the, the room instead of waiting a little bit because I need to get the damage before doing the summon. That was a little bit of muscle memory from the past road. Um, and then uh, there was some stuff on... Oh yeah, three sanity effects on Alex. That That's just what it is. Just RNG. <laughs> so that sucks. And then on Alex, I fucked up at the end. Uh, I fucked up one Trapper summon and the animation cancel. I don't think it was that bad. I mean, yeah, it was bad, but for for being the first one in a run, I think it's fine. Like, I can get it so much better, of course. The, the, the position of the camera wasn't too good for me to work with, uh, but it was my mistake because I, I cancelled the, the cast. I started matching B too early because I wanted to get rid of the test the test of um, the, the message of enchant item. But if you press B in a spell, you cancel it, so I just cancel it. <laughs> and it was a shame because I, I got a, a damage feel, which is better than getting a shield on bias. But whatever. Also got a teleport, but I I think I still save time on that battle compared to my PV because my PV is like the very old road where we still use, we even uh, deal damage with teleport, you know, and no artifact manipulation. So I think the the time loss on Alex is pretty much from the from the trapper. Like the fact that it's just seven seconds, I think assures that it's the trapper. Because I think I lose like 20 seconds on the trapper. So I probably save the rest on Pies. Alright, anyway. This is gonna be on on the leaderboard anyways. Cause it, it shows the, the new stuff, so it's even while it has so much bad stuff on Edward, I mean on on Michael. It still shows the, the most of the new stuff, and I, and I think it shows how good are the new strats. Like just look at the sum of best, basically. Um, it's almost one minute below the segmented run, which fair enough was made a lot of years ago. But just to give you an idea, like still was a segmented, basically a run without any sanity effects and a lot of. Uh, redoing different segments and yeah in Celota that's true Celota path but I think it's still kind of important so special thanks to sir of course you made a lot of this stuff and yeah also special thanks to the rest of the eternal darkness community 
could always 